Well, there you are. What the hell are you doing in there? Hey, thanks for coming out to part two of the theater. Uh, you're not going to need anything too weird here. Uh, eight mil, 10 mil, like no weird pullers or anything, just your basic little crappy tire tools to get it off. It's really very, very simple. I use no manual. A little bit of help from the P-Strong sites. Pizza cake. So thanks for coming out. Be sure to subscribe. I don't know how you're going to get out of there, but uh, maybe I can help you with that too. I'll refer to the manual. Okay, thanks for coming out. Let's get on with this. <laughs> Okay, when we last saw Wild Bill, he was looking over the side of his DL650 perpetually at the plugins to the stator and the rectifier. I'm going to have to cut that piece of plastic. It'll free up that triple pack there. The stator wire that splits into two sits just below the two wires that come from the rectifier. Just a little bit more. There we are. Done. So that's our stator unplugged. There's another one right in here, one of those wraps from Suzuki. So there's that Suzuki clip. That's it. We'll be able to weave it out over to there. With just the average guy, me, taking things apart. Okay, we cleaned her up there and loosened that clutch cable. Manual just says you just have to undo this, so. Just pulls off. Yeah, just like the 1000. So I just taped the bolts up, undid the clutch linkage from there. Next stop is all of these eights. Okay, took all 10 bolts out. There they are right there, actually, I even numbered them. Magnets can be a little sticky, gentle. I'm a little nervous, it's coming. Look at that, that's burnt. So there we are with our stator, just unplugs, unplugs. If you're a male over 50, this should look familiar. This won't take long, my friend. Okay, back to reality here. The new one, the old stator, you can see it's burnt. Everything matches, except for this. This. Is just a little bit different than that. Not wire wise, yellow, white screens, they all match. But you slide this in and it's flush with the cover. Slide this in and it sticks out. Okay, we're on. So this is going to be taken down to this level. We'll just see if this works. Apparently I'm still alive, so let's continue. Rotor goes in here, plocks down. This is that electrosport that has the funny rubber wrong size. And to reiterate, uh, they said that if you try it, if you do what you want, send it back now and wait God knows how long to ride again, or uh, it's California to Canada, borders, etc. Or do your little jimmy, and if you can fix it, great. If you can't fix it, send it back. We'll take care of it. So they gave me all the right answers. I'm taking care of it. That goes in there. It's got three long bolts. Hold it on. This just goes on here. Let's clean that a little bit more. It just holds that down, holds that uh, rubber down. And it goes down with those two little bolts right there. There, we've got three there. Then this runs over. I'll get that in there, set up, and I got a bit of the black magic to just put around the bottom on the outside to make sure it seals. I'll put this on the engine first. Oh, isn't that beautiful? It's nice when something fits like it's supposed to. This will go on the engine first, a little bit of black, just a finger dab to hold it on. 
but it should all just go into place and yeah. So Dave said just a goop. Just a tad of black. A little bit of blue, Loctite. Everything's down. Snug. Under, snug. More on the lighter side of torque than over because I put Loctite on to make sure at least they hold tight. It's okay. Oh, this actually will fit right in nicely. It almost pulls itself in. It's crazy. Let's get that out of the way. Oh, if you hear that. So we take number one, which is still marked right there, even though I cleaned it. Number two. I'll thread this through. I'll hook it up in a little bit because what I want to get to is the clutch mechanism. Nice. Sorry to remember what was going on here. This just slid in here. And we attach this. And this little devil went on there. I'm just going to start one. Okay, that seemed almost too easy. So, those are tightened up. Spring loaded like it was. Oh my god, the plan is coming together. That an 8 or 10 looks like a 10. So that's on. Everything's snug. I like to put this fancy grease on everything. Everything feels good. Clutch feels good. I'm going to let it sit 24 hours. That's what it says. Let it sit 24 hours. It's going to rain today anyways. And then we'll see how everything settled. I'm excited. Ran the wire up. Right here. Yellows. Wow. I'm going to cover that up. Okay, I can happily report that the bike is absolutely running great rectifier and stator from an export seem to be other than that little glitch, glitch with the rubber thing seem to be working great so I hope this helps somebody uh, pretty simple no special tools uh, I did it so obviously no special talent um, thanks for coming up be sure to subscribe guess I gotta start growing a beard rumor is we're going north in the fall so going north you gotta be hairy okay thanks again for coming out guys that's a stator rectifier replaced on the 2011 DL650 V-Strom just got the manual in today. Yeah, I've been riding for a week. But something is sure to happen again. You can bet on that. Thanks, guys. Good luck with whatever you're doing. Let's have a good one. Over and out.